Celebrity feuds in general are expected, but some of them have surprised us because we did not see them coming. Sometimes celebrities have tension between them and we didn't even know it until it comes out online. So today on Beyond the Screen we are checking out the top 10 celebrity feuds that we never saw coming. I'm your host for this one, I'm Joss Bedard, thanks for checking out our channel. If it's your first time here stick around till the end because I do some comment shout outs from some of my other videos and it's a lot of fun. And come say hi to us on social media, all of our links are down down below. But for now, let's get into the list. Starting us off at number 10 is Mason Disick and Jeffree Star. First of all, isn't Mason Disick like 9 years old? How the hell did he end up in a feud with the biggest YouTube beauty guru in the world? I'm confused. Here's what happened. For starters, Mason Disick is Kourtney Kardashian's oldest son in case you did not know who he is. He recently started a fire in March 2020 when he went online and called Jeffree Star spoiled AF. But Jeffree fired back at him even though he is in fact, guys. 10 years old. Jeffrey responded by a tweet and said, I had $500 in my bank account six years ago. Maybe he's confused with his own privilege versus mine being self made. Hopefully, his father can educate him soon. Mason's dad is actually Scott Disick, who goes by the name Lord Disick, so the likelihood of that happening is probably pretty slim. Coming in next, number nine is Miley Cyrus and Nicki Minaj. We didn't really know about the feud until the very awkward public exchange they had at the 2015 MTV Music Video Awards. Miley was hosting the award show, but at one point, Nicki was on stage saying her part and finished by saying, and now back to the b that had a lot to say about me in the press. Miley, what's good? You could tell that Miley was completely thrown off by the comment and the spotlight awkwardly went to Miley and just faded out from Nikki. It was super uncomfortable. Turns out that articles were saying Miley had said some rude things about Nikki in the press earlier that week. But Miley ended up saying on stage to kind of clear her name that news outlets tend to twist the words of other celebrities and that she actually has no issue with Nikki. Sliding into number 8 is Vin Diesel and Dwayne Johnson. The majority of us probably thought they would be like brothers after filming together in Fast Five, but by the end of the movie series, they strongly disliked each other. While they were filming the eighth movie of the franchise, Dwayne posted on social media saying he is dealing with a candy ass on set. Fans were confused at first because we didn't really expect there to be so much tension to a point where you're writing about it on social media. There were rumors going around at that time about these two fighting, so people just kind of quickly pieced that together. Dwayne later spoke about it and said he has put it behind him and apparently their tension was so bad at some points that they actually requested stand-ins to film some of their scenes. Rolling to number 7 we have Chelsea Handler and Angelina Jolie. To be honest, I didn't even know that they had beef with each other so that is how unexpected this one is for me personally. The tiff came after news broke of Angelina and Brad Pitt's divorce. Apparently Chelsea was not okay with their decision and she did not hesitate to express her thoughts on it. She spoke about it and called Angelina a effing lunatic. It was later revealed that she had a personal issue with her because she once fooled around with her friend's man, referring to Brad Pitt's ex Jennifer Aniston who is friends with Chelsea. But Chelsea later felt bad for her comments and said, I'm upset that I was so upset with Angelina Jolie, I realize she is probably just trying to do her best too. Isn't that sweet? Yeah, you had really no say in their divorce. but. Okay. Up next, number six is Lady Gaga and Kelly Osbourne. Such a random pair of people to have an issue with each other. Like, do they even know each other well enough to have a problem? The battle between them started in 2009 when Kelly called Gaga a butterface on her show Fashion Police. Gaga responded with an open letter telling her that her show criticizes and rates people's beauty and that is wrong. The feud was ongoing for years until 2013 when Gaga tried to make a peace offering. The singer made an in October on the X Factor UK, where she gave Sharon Osbourne, who was a judge, a cake to celebrate her daughter's birthday. Kelly was turning 29 and it just so happened to fall on that same day. Sharon and Gaga even took a smiling picture together with the cake, but Kelly did not accept it and wrote on Twitter, not to be ungrateful, but why would you send me a birthday cake via my mother in a country half the world away? She then posted a picture of the cake to her Instagram with the hashtags, eat my poo 
and hashtag hypocrisy. But Gaga ended the feud and responded with kindness, God bless her soul, and she tweeted, I didn't know it was your birthday until this afternoon, meant as a peace offering, happy birthday. God bless Gaga, are you kidding me? I would just take that cake home and eat it myself. Happy through the list to Sarah Jessica Parker and Kim Cattrall. All the Sex and the City girls seem to be like sisters from the outside looking in. But early in the TV series, there were rumors going around that these two did not get along. In 2004, Kim admitted that money had something to do with it, revealing that Sarah received a higher salary, and when they did not agree with her financial demand, she quit the show. Down the road in 2017, Daily Mail reported that the third Sex and the City movie was cancelled because of Kim, stating that Warner Brothers refused to meet her demands and had to cancel production, despite the other girls being on board for another movie. And fans obviously very excited about it. Sarah has always said that Kim was a close friend to her, but there seems to be some weird disconnect because Kim told Piers Morgan that the other girls were always just colleagues to her. That's so awkward. We've made it to number 4 and we have Howard Stern and Lena Dunham. The whole thing seemed to be one sided after Howard completely dissed her on his radio show back in 2013. He was talking about the actress and her HBO show Girls and said, It's a little fat girl who kind of looks like Jonah Hill and she keeps taking her clothes off and it kind of feels like I don't want to see that. The whole comment was honestly like very unnecessary, not sure where it came from, but Lena was able to laugh it off later on and she actually called into his show to talk about it after he apologized though. He did end up apologizing for that random comment uh, and they were able to kind of shake it off. Taking over the third spot is Chloe Grace Moretz and Kim Kardashian. Another random feud that happened on Twitter and lasted way longer than it needed to. It started after Kim posted a nude mirror selfie on her social media pages. The selfie was obviously a little censored, but Chloe did not approve of her post and made sure everyone knew about it. Chloe commented on her post and wrote, I truly hope you realize how important setting goals are for young women teaching them we have so much more to offer than our bodies. Kim quickly fired back, pointing out that Chloe posed nude for her Nylon Magazine cover shoot. Side note, she was actually wearing a jacket over her body, but she is nude underneath, so yeah. Kim tweeted in response saying, Let's all welcome Chloe Moretz to Twitter since no one knows who she is. Your nylon cover is cute, boo. Kim's family even got involved after that, and Khloe Kardashian started tweeting at her too. And honestly, it was just Twitter chaos. Taking over the number two spot is Neil Patrick Harris and James Woods. Neil posted a photo of an eight year old boy with his family at Pride, and James tweeted a response that was incredibly inappropriate and offensive. He tweeted, This is sweet. Wait until this poor kid grows up, realizes what you've done, and stuffs both of you dismembered into a freezer bag in the garage. I mean, who in their right mind says something like that to someone? Like, to me, the only type of person to say something like that is someone who would dismember someone and stick them in the freezer. That is crazy. Neil responded by calling him utterly ignorant and classless and said that he should be ashamed of himself. Turns out, Neil was actually very close with the young boy's family, which is why he took that photo with him. In the number one spot is Ariana Grande and Piers Morgan. The pop star picked a bone with him back in 2018 after he criticized Ellen DeGeneres, claiming that she drools over famous men's bodies and how if he did that towards women, he would be called a pig. He also went after a little mix and said that they used Use nudity to sell their records, not their talent. Ariana Grande got involved by sticking up for Ellen, even though the comments had nothing to do with her. She tweeted at him saying, Ellen is an incredible and kind human being. I use my talent and my sexuality all the time because I choose to. Women can be sexual and talented, naked and dignified. It's our choice. And we will keep fighting till people understand. I say this with all due respect, but thank you. Next. The two of them battled it out for a bit in tweets, but later admitted that they had a civil conversation and worked it all out. Alright guys, that's all I have. I'm gonna end this video with some comments from celebrities who don't deserve the hate they get. Edward Williams says, Maybe 95% of celebs are getting hatred because of how media portrays them to us. I mean, it really could be. A lot of times, I do believe that obviously they are painted in a certain light in media, but I feel like some of them are legit. What up, Gigi says, people's issues with Amy is a lot of her content is stolen from other comedians. There's tons of compilations proving it. Whoa, that are that is some serious tea and claims. I have not heard this. I feel like a lot of comedians like could steal from other comedians in general. You know? I feel like I've heard a lot of jokes at the same time. 
or I've heard the same joke a lot of times. Tiff V says, Jonathan loving your top, someone getting a little sun. Someone getting a little too much sun because I got another damn sunburn. I went camping. Mr. Sister Fister says, I can't stand Lady Gaga, but what is wrong with her body? Absolutely nothing is wrong with her body. That is the whole thing. People were calling her fat after she performed at the Super Bowl. By no means did she look fat or is she fat and there's nothing wrong with her body. Shame on people. All right guys, that is all I have. I'm getting out of here. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell to hang out with us every day. I'm your host Joss, I will see you next time. Oh my God, that was so awkward. Do you remember that? Have you seen that? Yeah, yeah. What's good Miley? Like literally in front of the entire room. It was so awful. Fly! Excuse you!